these musky fishing vacations are nice, but I almost can't wait to go back home, go to work so I can rest, relax, and get some sleep. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. It's day five and a half or something like that. My everything hurts and uh, the muskies are being well, a problematic, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, Jim and I are a little bit on the struggle bus here. We uh, A lot of close calls last night and hopefully we can rectify that this morning, but we shall see. We slept in a touch because there was a little bit of rain. We're going to have maybe some mix of cloud and sun this morning. And then after that, it might just get sunny. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna attack some weeds this morning, and then after that, who knows? We might go pick some blueberries <laughs> when we go back to the uh, cabin for lunch and a little bit of a nap this afternoon. But uh, that's all I got for now. Um, we really need the fish to cooperate for us and get a little bit of our confidence back because it's certainly waning right now. So. Let's get to casting and see what we can do. Oh, do you swing and miss, Jim? Yep. Just come up just, just ever so slightly. Well, that's a brand new one. Did he hit the bait, actually? No. no? Boy, it looked like he got close to it, though. Yeah, he did. Okay. Right back at it. Yeah. How big do you think? Probably in the size that we were seeing yesterday. Yeah, nice one. See how big fat? Yep. Yep. Pretty good head. Fat back. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's all we had to do was say we hadn't seen one yet, and there is one. Here we go, Jim. Got him. Oh, he's off. He's off. Man, we just cannot win. Frick. Nice and sharp all the way around. God bless it. Frick. See, I don't think I ever did this yet. All right, folks, for the afternoon, we're going to start top water fishing. I've got my beat up, mostly wood colored now. Uh, little sister, big mom, little sister. We're going to throw that. Makes a nice popping sound with the tail on a surgical strike. Salt stick 2020. <clears throat> Jim's throwing the same thing as far as rod and reel 401 tranks. I got a 400 and he's got a top rater on because it's a slightly different sound. It's a little bit more subtle than the little sister. So that's what we got rolling for this afternoon. Ooh, that was a musky. Gosh, I felt him for a second there. Whew. Dang it.
came up a second time for it. Seemed pretty amped up. Ugh. Gosh, what is it going to take? Dynamite? a big pike. Wow. <laughs> Not that so pike. That is a big, big old pike. been so long. <laughs> Gotta retrain me here. Here I can just go ahead and grab the camera. good. All right, she's recording. Okay, got it? Yep. All right. Well, that's not exactly what we were shooting for, but it is a trophy pike. Oh, man, look at that. Not a bad one. I don't think she's quite hits the 40 mark. Nope, 30, 38, but that was really cool. Had one musky blow up, seen another musky, and now a trophy pike for the afternoon. All right, girl, thanks for the thrill. And there she's off. Cool thing was too, we had the, <laughs> Just so happened I put the drone up in the air and uh, it'll be interesting to see what we caught with that going, but uh, a nice little start to the afternoon anyway. One hanging out in here. Got one coming. And he took off. What is the deal? That was a nice fish. He was making a, a good wake there. And he just peeled off the last second. Frick, come on. What is going on? Man. Gosh, that is driving me nuts. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are in about our last hour here of what's been 
uh, a frustrating day, especially after the day we had yesterday. Uh, a no fish day is just, it drives you nuts, especially when you had uh, lots of opportunities. We've had opportunities today, a couple blow ups on top water, lost fish boat side. Uh, we've had some things happen, and so far the, the only thing we have to show for it is a uh, 38 inch trophy pike, which is kind of cool. We have the drone up in the air. I'm, I'm excited to get back to the cabin and see how that all turned out. But, uh, and it, we just bumped into some of our buddies that have been fishing out in the main basin here. We were back in a bay where we saw our fish actually ended up doing better as far as seeing fish and getting hits and that sort of thing uh, than they did. So that's it. We got an hour to make this happen. So let's see if we can do it. Well, 8.15 and nothing's happened over here. Are you kidding me? I gotta wake. He kind of hung around down there, but he was following it pretty lazy. I finally saw him go down. Huh, well, we're just make, gonna make the executive decision to move and now I don't know if we do. <laughs> Frick. Oh man, these things are dumb. Well, today's lack of fish wasn't for lack of trying on our part. We uh, tried multiple different spots. We tried rocks, weeds, uh, had some success in some weed spots that we haven't really fished a whole lot yet. So um, maybe something to go back on. Uh, as far as I know, we'll see what uh, we, we hear from our compatriots once we get back to the cabin and see how everybody else did. But as of about an hour and a half ago, uh, we'd done the best in that shallow uh, darker water weed spots. So two follows tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> two zero musky days in the old crest liner though. So that is super frustrating. Eagle Lake can give you some of the best musky fishing in the world. And then it can go ahead and uh, chew you up and spit you out at wills. And that's what it's been doing to us lately. So <coughs> time to go in, rest up, get some food and do it all again tomorrow so everybody i appreciate you watching this silliness that we're doing and uh i'll see you on the next video